Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hi, friends of the podcast. Hello, everyone. Samantha. Lisa. How are you doing today? Well, you know, I'm good. Good. But you know what? What? I got to ask our people a question. Okay. It's very important. Ask away. Well, we're discussing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I need something from you. I don't ask for favors much. You're asking for favors? I'm asking for a favor. From our people? Yeah, from our wow. people. From okay. our friends. Oh, yes. Lisa, these are our friends. They are. They're our friends of the podcast. I think that they'll be more than willing to help us. Okay. Okay. I don't even know what you're asking, so go <laughs> fire away, Samantha. Well, it's really not for me. Oh. Well, no, it is for me. Okay. I'm I'm not being as selfish. It's really for you. Oh, yay. 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 Because you know, you know how much Lisa loves the friends of the podcast? <laughs> well, Lisa wants more friends of the podcast. Oh, I do. I just yes, love friends. You just, love just love want friends. everybody. I just, I just love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I'm asking. I'm asking you guys to share, your po- share this podcast, our podcast, or your podcast. You can see it as yours. Uh, with everyone you know. People who you think need a good laugh. And who would enjoy some silly 50-year-old banter Yes. Uh, about a silly little life. Ridiculous <laughs> life. <laughs> and I need you guys to share. I need you guys to get your people to follow us. And I want them to start downloading our episodes, use the back catalog. I think it would be, I think it's time to share us with more of the world. Share, share, share. <laughs> right? All you need is love. Isn't that a song? All you dun, need dun, dun, is dun. love. Yeah. I don't think I have a song for sharing, though. Right? No. I don't think I have that. But I think that that's a great idea. Yes. Right? So off you go to share with the world. Share. Share, share. Share us along. Okay. That's all I wanted to say. Okay. Because I'm really distracted. So sorry if that didn't Why? come off how it from should. What? I'm distracted from your sweatshirt. I love my sweatshirt. <laughs> Friends of the podcast, if you could see the sweatshirt, Samantha, you're looking very collegiate. Are you going I, back to school? Yeah, well, you know, I felt I missed something last School's week. School's out for <laughs> summer. You missed it because no. you were all like, I want to go back to school. I, I want to go, go back, back to, school. to school. So you went in and you bought yourself a purple sweatshirt with bands with like stripes on the sleeve. I'm feeling very collegiate. Yeah, a purple and collegiate. <laughs> were your school colors purple? No. Why'd you pick purple? I like this. It's not purple. You like purple? It's like a burgundy color. It's not burgundy. It's fallish. It's not bur- it might be fallish, <laughs> but it's not burgundy. It's not burgundy. It's like, I, you, you know what it is? No, it's, you know what it is? It's like beet purple. No, it's not beet purple. It's, it's purple. No. It's, no, it's no, not. It's purple. No, it's not. I, no. And you say the word purple as if it's a bad thing. And then, uh, you know what pops into my head? I, Barney. I never said that. Barney. I never called you Barney. I'm not purple Barney. like Barney. I never called you Barney. I'm not purple. And here's my issue. And, you, and I've had this issue for, you know how I feel about, hi, how's your purple shirt? <laughs> purple shirt. Or hi, how's your big red shirt? <laughs> I feel purple does that too. No. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hi, how's your purple shirt? Right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I see. Stop it. But I appreciate. Stop I, it. But I appreciate that you're trying to get your school groove back on. Well, you're not going to school. Let it go. But you even said there's a football game from my old school. Let it go, Samantha. You're not going back to school. I saw the mascot and everything, oh and I'm like, go, God. Hardy, go. Although I have to say, I am thankful that you're in the varsity gear as opposed to like a cheerleader outfit. <laughs> I would have been like, maybe for Halloween you could bring out your cheerleader no. outfit, right? That's what you can be. This body does not fit into a cheerleading this, uniform. This body does not cheer. <laughs> it, it missed <laughs> the cheerleading days. Right? It just went to spectator on the couch. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. But to go along, maybe the reason why I wore collegiate things today yeah. is because I broke out like I was like a teenager. It's like we're talking about the elephant in the room right now. <laughs> you did. There's like spots on my face there are. that not enough cover up in the world is going to cover. It's not. And I'm really mad right now because yeah. I'm like, really? As I hit 50, I'm getting... Teenage acne. Adult acne has come to visit. <laughs> Fuck it's off. like this. <laughs> Who's there? Acne. Right? Mine came and went when it was supposed to. Right? Well, because you're already in menopause. I'm, I, I might... <laughs> shh. I might be actually done. We don't even know for sure. Waiting for that blood test. Oh, my right? God. I could be done. I may have gone through it in a year oh. and a half. Whatever. Don't Don't fret about your pimples. Don't fret. Don't fret. Well, because you don't have to because they're not on your yeah. face. But but just keep covering them up. Thanks, so, thanks a lot. They're looking Lisa. good, Samantha. Thanks. 
very pretty. I appreciate your concern. <laughs> I didn't say anything. You brought it up. Mm-hmm. I'm not that friend. I'm never going to say, ooh, how's your zits? No, but you did say, hi, how's your purple sweatshirt? I did. That's different. That's a purple sweatshirt. <laughs> that's a purple sweatshirt. Well, speaking of people liking my sweatshirt, uh-huh. we were at Schreier's Barbecue oh, today. Oh, my God, I heard. Hallelujah. Uh, okay, no, first of all. Thank you, Schreiers, for coming back to Dear Saskatoon. Dear Schreiers, thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Thank you. You, we missed you. We missed you. We went by, like, I think it was the beginning of summer. And it was gone. And it was gone. It was We're gone. like, what? What you happened? <laughs> now it's back. And now it's back. So good. So good. But yes, you don't have to tell everybody what was said. But I've heard it. I, I walked up mm. to the lady at the counter, and she's like, oh, my God, I love your sweatshirt. And I'm like, looking at you. I know. You, did, you, gave, <laughs> me like, the, you gave me the stink mm-hmm. eye. Uh-huh. I know. Thanks, honey. <laughs> yeah, right? She's 10. She was 10. She was not 10. Fine, she was 19. She was not. She was not 50. Uh, She's thinking, oh, you know what? I wish my mom dressed like that. <laughs> People should dress like me. Yeah, mom jeans and everything. I'm not wearing no. mom jeans. They look a little mom That's really rude. Sorry. I am wearing a lovely sparkle shoe. You though. are wearing your sparkle shoe. You brought back your sparkle shoe. My sparkle running yeah. shoe. It looks good. Mm-hmm. And you're in your glasses today. I am. You're like wearing... I get, it goes with the whole collegiate oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So you thought the contacts would make you look older. Yes. Okay. So I went for the glasses yeah. that I thought would be a little younger. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's how people think glasses <laughs> no, work. No, because you see the white and the gray that, yeah, needs, to that needs to be covered. That needs to be covered up. And friends of the podcast, that's coming next week, right? Samantha's getting a haircut in color. Am, finally. Yes. Right? But anyways, back to Schreier's. Back to Schreier's. We oh, had the my best God. thing. It was so good. Anyway, I sent out a picture on Instagram. Yes, you did. It was so good. And I don't, this is not my cup of tea. That Like, I that what we ordered was not my thing. That's your thing. It was my cup and my tea. Yeah. But it became my cup and my tea. Because it's good. It's well, like it everything in one. You know what it was? You know what sold me on it? And we just slapped some coleslaw <laughs> on top. And I'm like, pencil me. <laughs> bitch, please. Pencil me in. <laughs> Right? Anytime you get that good coleslaw on yeah. top, of it, uh, you can put that shit on anything and yes. I'm going to eat it. They have really good, like, you have no idea how excited we are to have Schreier's back, people. And, like that food, like, so it was French fries and chicken, like we had chunks pulled of chicken, chicken. Pulled chicken, yeah. barbecue chicken, and then the coleslaw was on top. Yeah. And then and they you, put barbecue you sauce. Threw some I threw some extra. barbecue on that puppy. Lather that shit up. That's what I thought, right? Because I'm were all about the sauce. Oh, you yeah. were dipping, you were you brought the whole big bottle. It's supposed to be shared with the restaurant. You're like, here you go. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> it's all about the sauce. It's all about the sauce. Yeah. So yeah. good. It was so good. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Good thank you to come. Them. Thank you for coming back, Schreier. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Woo woo. Uh-huh. Okay, but Lisa. Samantha. Enough about me. Yeah, right? It's already like the whole opening has been about you. Mm. But I'm, what am I right now? Mm. That's my sad that's emoji. My sad emoji. Mm. I want to talk about me. Talk, I want somebody to talk about me now. Sam, 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 Sam. <laughs> it's like four Sams, no Lisas yet. Right? Four Sams and no oh Lisas. Oh, my God. Okay. Are Here you going to tell, Are you gonna tell them or am I going to tell them? Hang on. Okay. Finally, after weeks of dis- trying to decide... Where she was going to go. Weeks and weeks. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa has made a decision, decision, decision. I don't want to say where, where, where. Because I'm not supposed to use the name, name, name. But I've made a decision and I have a full-time job. And it's not the two that you started out with. not the two I started it off with. It was the underdog who came in at the last minute. A Hail Mary, right? It was like 32, 44, cut, deep, go deep. And all of a sudden it's like, oh. I saw the ball, I was running to the end zone, I caught it to the touchdown, I slammed it down, I'm like, Oh my yes. god, oh my god. And we of did course, a happy dance. football analogy. <laughs> it was a last minute Hail Mary, and guess what? what? We won the game. Yay! So yes, so, I'm, I, uh, so, so You're I, gainfully employed. Yes, so I finish my job, job. Job, job. On Saturday. Okay. Then I have a couple of my, I have a couple part-time shifts still. Because I already committed to my part-time job. A couple part-time shifts next week. Yes. And then that part-time job becomes the full-time job. Woohoo! On the 23rd. Woohoo! Go figure. Go figure. I got so much to learn. You do. It's you do. crazy. You are just like, your learning curve steep. 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 Right? I'm buying clothes. Look at, I'm in a new shirt. It's got a bell sleeve. <laughs> right? Right, just that. Don't you know what? The picture that the HHG showed me, I was like, oh, you're so pretty. So pretty. And she, she was like, she's dressing just like me. 
and not necessarily intentionally. <laughs> and then it becomes a just please, please. <laughs> Didn't she yes. say that she wanted, she called you her mini me? I'm her mini me. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Right? She tried so hard today to get me into a <laughs> necklace and I'm like, oh. she's like, do you have a chain? Do you have a necklace? I'm like, yeah, it's on. <laughs> Probably that wasn't cutting the no, muster. No, it wasn't. <laughs> so, so I have a necklace oh, in my future. Well, or you're gonna learn to love a scarf. No, I'm I'm putting my foot down on a scarf. <laughs> I will never wear a scarf or a dress. I'm just saying. Not doing either you're doing of those something. two. There, there is one more. There's an accessory coming. <laughs> so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Oh my so God. yeah. Okay, but guess what? What? Oh my God. So again, back to school means bus and bus people. Uh oh, Samantha. You have issues. You are having some issues. Here's the thing, okay? And don't take this <laughs> oh the wrong God, way. Oh my God, the pointer finger came out. And and when my pointer finger comes out, I make it a point, right? That's what you said. Yeah. Pointer fingers out, points being made, okay? Here's the thing. I love ladies. Yes. And I love babies. Yes. But I don't like ladies and babies. <laughs> There's too many ladies and babies on the bus. Oh, there's too many. The combo is bad. I don't like I don't like the combo of ladies and babies. No, I okay. got to be honest. They, they they first off they have the strollers, uh-huh. so they take up the first they take up a whole row. Yes. Right, because that seat goes up. Yep. So all of a sudden, when you walk on and you see ladies and babies, you already know. Oh Christ, everybody's getting on board, and we're all sitting on each other. <laughs> right. I hate that. And that's been my bus angst. That and then kids in the bags. Oh, yeah. Right. Kids with the big university yeah. bags. Yeah, right? Because everybody wears the backpack, and I got to sit with the backpack. But you know what's happening? What? Is they're too new to the school. They're too new to university yeah. to realize you don't need all that shit. You don't need all you that shit. You do not need right? all the shit that you're packing right now. No. By the time October rolls around. Take a pen. You're taking a book and a pen. Yeah, because <laughs> you know what? Can't you put everything on your phone? Can't you, like, do university on by phone now? I don't know. I'm sure there's an app, right? <laughs> university app. I mean, I'm sure you can download it, and then school's right there. Oh, that's true. I would do that. I would do it, too. But they're backpacks. Oh, my God. They think that the backpack is a person. Because guess what? That backpack, it ain't a person. It didn't pay $3.10. I did. <laughs> so get your backpack out of my seat, because that is where my ass goes. Not your book bag's ass. My ass. Oh, my God. Oh. So ladies and babies. Ladies and babies. And students. And students and bags. Students and bags. Students and bags. You got some bad combos happening oh. there. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's ladies and babies everywhere. Ladies and babies. Lady- I'm like, where did all the ladies and babies oh, come from? Oh and why God. are you all busing? Well, because well, it's at expensive. 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, because they got to go places. I know, right? They got places to go. They got places to go. It's so crazy. But yeah, so, so we've now just started the bus angst season. I right. can't wait for more. Yeah. Is dear, is dear Dude coming back? Dear Dude will be back. Okay. Yeah, Dear Dude will be back for sure. <laughs> dear Dude just doesn't even know where to start. That's what this week's been, is Dear Dude on the bus has just been taking it all in. I'm thinking, God, every time I go to send something, I'm like, where do you start? I know. Right? And then there's one lady, and every morning, she's knitting. Which I appreciate, right? I think I think knitting, that's great, right? Like, you can do great things with knitting, mm-hmm. and I think that's awesome. But it's odd on the bus... <laughs> All the phones are out and ladies knitting. And she's not even old. And I'm like, that's so cool because she don't need her phone. She don't need her phone. Oh, no. and then, of course, then it makes me feel bad. And I'm like, because I'm like checking my tweet and checking my Twitter. And I'm like, I should be doing something more productive, like knitting a blanket. Right? Because that lady probably is a great woman who's probably making a blanket for a baby in a hospital. Right? Because that's what people do, right? That's true. That's what you do. If you knit, you're knitting for other people. I don't oh, think people are knitting for themselves no. anymore. Right? No. I think those days are done. Yeah. But I think people knit for others. Right? So now she's guilted you yeah. into potentially learning how to knit. I wonder if I could knit. <laughs> right? Well, you have a problem telling. <laughs> and then the fingers, the fingers come up. <laughs> but knit, like, knit one, pearl two. Isn't that something? Isn't that what they talk about? I, have no I don't idea. know. There was a Flintstones episode, and I think it was knit one, pearl two, knit uh-huh. one, pearl two. I don't know. Okay. That's my bus. Ooh, you looks, sent me you weird. You just went so serious. You sent me weird pictures again. <laughs> I didn't send you weird <laughs> pictures. And they were, it was like, one, two, three. I'm like, why am I looking at it three times? Uh, but there was uh, a, uh, like a little message on the second one. Yes. <laughs> I know. The twist. The twist. With Lisa, an arrow pointing to it. Lisa. Samantha. What's up with the egg pictures? <laughs> <laughs> because, so here's the thing, right? You don't, you obviously don't know this about me, but I've been practicing my cooking. Right? <laughs> right? You, what you do is not cooking. Yes. <laughs> no. So the other morning when I was off, right, I had to go to an appointment, but I woke up early because I felt hungry. Hungry. And I'm like, and and usually when we buy eggs, you don't know this. Usually when we buy eggs, we just buy six. But Mike had to go to Vern's to get eggs. Oh. Yeah. 
for whatever reason, because cause we were, cause I forgot to put them on the grocery list. Oh, wait. So, you and, and it was in 12. Okay. And I'm like, we're never going to get through 12 eggs, no. right? So, so I decided to make some scrambled eggs. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. And that's what I was doing. And you are always, whenever we go up to the lake, you're always like, I got breakfast because nobody makes scrambled eggs better than me because I learned from my dad and my dad's the best. And, and Larry, Larry, Larry. Right? Dad is the best. Absolutely he is. <laughs> but there's a new sheriff in town. Not so fast, my friend. Oh, my God. Not so fast. Not so fast. So I scrambled. You want to know how I do it? What? Friends of the podcast, get your paper and pen. Uh-huh. Eggs by Lisa. Eggs by Lisa coming up. <laughs> right? So I take the eggs. Uh-huh. Right? Crack them in the pan. Yes, a little bit thanks, of butter. Thanks for sharing. A little bit of butter. Scramble. A little bit of cheese whiz. Uh huh. Are you ready for this? Uh huh. The twist. <laughs> which is she twisted her I hands twist, in I the clap. Hair. I do this. Clap. Twist my hands for the twist. So the <laughs> twist. The twist, Samantha. Oh my God. Was ham. Ham. That's not a twist. You don't do that. That's normal. No, really? Because you've never done that before. That's I've not- never seen you do that. You're just trying to know. Oh, my I've God. I've never seen you. So Seriously? That's, yeah, and then we eat. And then right? we eat. And then we eat. We twist. We twist. Then we eat. And then we eat. <laughs> because I knew when I sent you the first thing of eggs, you're going to be like, it's scrambled eggs. I saw the ham in the picture. Yeah, because I pointed it with a little red arrow, and I said... It wasn't... The, it wasn't... Okay, fine. The, yes, the Lisa. twist. Oh, my God. The twist. The genius that is you. I think I want to do a cooking show. No. I think I do. I'm really, really good with mixing. Right? <laughs> You put something in a pan, I can mix it. Woo! I'm doing really good. Oh my yeah. god. So that's that that's my eggs. Okay. That's my eggs. I don't think you should Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but that wasn't the only picture you sent me. I know. I was very excited for you though. Were you? Because the icy squares are back. It was a good day. It was a good day. <laughs> it was a really good day. They showed up at my work. For those of you who do not know, oh, oh, Lisa's oh. favorite chocolate in the world. I have no idea why, because they don't taste that great. Oh my god, it's Our like icy squares. velvety <laughs> butter in your mouth. Butter. It's like butter. The chocolate tasting <laughs> butter. Had the butter. Or I don't squares. understand. Oh my them. god, I love them. I love them so. Hyper Hype Girl found them at Costco. Oh. It's a one kg. Oh my god! Yeah. So I no, hang on. I'm doing really, really well. I'm rationing them. <laughs> I told her I said you got to keep them. You got to keep them on your side, which soon we'll in a week side. will be my side. And then what the hell is gonna happen? I don't know. I don't know. Then I I, I can't. She's gonna have to lock them up. I'll cross that bridge. Yeah, icy squares. I don't understand. But guess what? I have because of the icy squares. Uh huh. I have to. I have a. I have a confession. What? So I, I didn't, oh God, there's so much I haven't told you. It's like a dirty little secret. I've been buying Oreos. Oh my God. I know, right? You have an Oreo addiction as well. Oh, and it's a good bad, day. Because you eat a whole row. I eat a whole row. By yourself. Most people take two. I take like six. And then I take, I take them apart and I eat them. And I just eat them and I eat them. And Do you I dunk eat. them in milk? No, that's disgusting. Ew, ew. Then you got like bits of cookie in your milk. That's gross. That's so nasty. You got like a soggy cookie and bits of cookie in your milk. But I'm eating them now way too fast. So now with the icy squares, Uh I can't do it. I can't have both. I'm surprised you don't have zits. I know. I'm surprised I'm not not the size of a house. (laughs) I've gone through so many Oreos and I'm just like walking by, walking through the kitchen. I just have an Oreo. Right? I don't even want to know. There's probably like a thousand calories in one Oreo. I'm just... I'm just, because they're like, oh, they're like, bite, bite, chomp, chomp. But didn't you just tell me that a lady that used to work in the Bay came to see you and thought that you looked like you'd lost weight? I know. I'm hearing that a lot lately. Hey, it's really <laughs> funny. I heard that a couple times today. I've, I've heard it a lot. Oh, you're, you're, <laughs> one of the ladies in the Bay said to me, I was looking firmer. And then she points to my midsection. I'm like, huh? I'm like, oh. Number one, right? I could lose weight. It's never going to be firmer because that would imply that I'm doing something, right? That would be implying a lot. Right. Be implying a lot for it to, for my fat at 49 to become firmer. Firm. It's just firmer, yeah. Actually, you know what? So I'm working on my six pack, right? Abs of steel. I got that DVD and I'm working it. But didn't she call? You're not big, big. She said, no, no, no. That was a different lady who said, who said I was big, but not big, big. <laughs> Right? And you know what the funny? And so then this other lady, she said that I'm a big girl, but I'm not too big of a. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too big. Okay. Right. The lady I'm a big who called girl. you slim. Yeah, who called me slim. Right. 
But the funny thing is, is that when these older gals say that, Mm -hmm. you can't say anything, right? Because once you hit 70, you have like free reign to just say anything because then you just chalk it up to, ah, she's just old. She's just old. She's just crazy. She's just just talking off the top of her head. But I'm not doing anything to lose weight. So I think think it's like an illusion. So the Oreos could be your diet plan. Could be my diet plan. Maybe that's how you're, why you're firm. (laughs) <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe that's the secret to fr- maybe oreos have like this magic in the middle it's it's not just creamy icing it's actually uh it's actually ab steel ab firming right icing i don't know maybe it's ab like firming magic ma- ab, some ab firming magic every- you know what friends of the podcast buy some oreos get back to me on that let me know if you're let me know if your fat stomach feels firmer i love that after eating well if you've if you've adopted oreos now into your regimen yeah. Something must have gone. Because in your world, in the Gibson, Michael, Lisa, Gibson world. Can't have it all. You bring in, you take out. Yeah, right. Constantly. The good Lord giveth and the good Lord (laughs) taketh away. away. (laughs) So what has been taken away is, you know what? Hmm. I've kicked fiber one bars to the curb. Are you done pooping? I'm just (laughs) done with them. I'm just done with them. Like That's probably my longest of keeping with something. That's true. I kept with them for a long time. I thought that they were helping you with your digestive. I know, but guess what? I still poop. I'm still pooping, Samantha. (laughs) I still poop. My name is Lisa and I still poop. <laughs> There's not enough fiber in them to really do a whole lot. I think we're talking way too much about bottoms and wiping. And <laughs> <laughs> Last week we were talking about wiping. That's true. And I want to clarify because on last week's podcast, when I listened back to it, I, 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 made it, I may have made it sound like I only wipe twice a day. <laughs> Because you said, how often do you clean? Do you clean all your parts? I said, I clean all my parts twice a day. Some parts get cleaned every time they're used. I just want to clarify that. Oh, my God. Because when I listen back, I'm like, oh, people are going to think I only wipe my ass twice. Right? I think that's funny. You had to clarify it. I felt I needed to clarify it. Yeah. I need. I need to. I just wanted to correct that. Star, star. So, so much fun out of that one. That's a lot of fun. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of fun. Yep. HHG, how's she doing? Oh, my God. She's so crazy. Samantha, I don't even understand. Where, <laughs> did you think my brain is messed up and just ridiculous? That yeah. is that is one notch crazier than my brain, <laughs> right? I got I to gotta walk you through it. Okay. 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 I'm she was me. off whatever day. She, I think she was off on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Okay. She was going to Costco. Okay. You know how she loves the Snapchat? Yes, she does. Okay. So I get a Snapchat picture. And the Snapchat picture is of a box, a Costco-sized box of KY jelly. Why? So, so friends of the podcast, if you're not familiar with what, I'm not going there. I'm just joking. As if they're really, I was going to really, I was going to infomercial the it. shock on my face. <laughs> I'm not going there. Okay, thank okay. God. But so, so, so one Snapchat is a picture of KY jelly, a big box, a big box, right? Look, look at Costco helping yeah. you out. The next picture <laughs> is of a bottle of red wine. <laughs> she likes her red wine. The next picture is of a blood pressure monitor. <laughs> what the hell? So I don't even know how to respond, right? I'm like, and? What the fuck is going on? I don't know. But then the oh best part God. of all of it, are you ready for this? Oh. At around 7.30 at night, she sent me a message. I replied back. Just seemed like just normal conversation. Uh-huh. Then she went off the grid. Okay. She was gone. Okay. 9.30, I send her a message. HHG, how you doing? Because she hasn't replied. <laughs> yes. Nothing. She sends a message at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm up now. <laughs> and the only reason I know that, right, is because I got up to go to the washroom and yeah. I saw my phone. Yeah. I'm up now. So then I said to her, what the next day at work? I'm like, what the hell? Her her sister friend, like her Stacy, she sends her a message. Is everything okay? Are you okay? I know it's a tough time. Are you okay? I haven't heard from you. Is everything okay? So so I'm thinking oh like nine one one SOS. Hype, yes. hype girl is gone. She's, she's missing. She's, she's out. There's not a snap. There's not a tweet. And when there's not a snap for that many hours, something's not right. No. So I don't know. So the next day, I think we friends of the podcast. I think we might get jumped by a bunch of hoodlums where we're parking no, today. No, I think it's the... Oh, it's a football it's crowd. It's a football okay, crowd. Sorry. Look at me just judgy, judgy. Look at you getting distracted. I was distracted. <laughs> sorry. It's because... You know why? It's because we're talking about KY jelly, <laughs> blood pressure, and we're talking about wine. So she went off the grid. Okay. And it turns out she drank the oh. whole bottle of wine. Really? All of it. Why? Because it seemed for her, it seems excessive on a work night. On a work night. Do you want to know why? Why? She bought a really cool bottle of wine, 
based on the design and the the label on it. Uh huh. And she's having a special event at the store. Okay. And she thought it would be a great accent piece. So she needed she put the a bottle to it. be she empty. She put lights in it. So she needed the bottle to be empty. <laughs> so she drank, drank the whole, whole thing. bottle of wine. You know, she could have just like poured it into like a wine craft Something, thing and no. kept it that way. Not our hyper hype girl. No. She took one for the team. <laughs> right? I don't know where the KY comes in. Oh my god. I don't know if I want to know. I don't think you do. I don't live in her bedroom. No. <laughs> none of my business. None of my business. But at least if that much fun's going on, glad there's a blood pressure monitor what? close by. <laughs> just in case, right? Is it for her? I don't know. Or for Bryce? You know, spring chickens we ain't anymore, right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my she God. said she didn't buy either. I'm like, I don't okay. know if I believe you. I don't know. That's our hyper hype girl. She crazy. She's really crazy. Uh-huh. Crazy. I think you overreacted a little bit the other day. <laughs> I don't think I did. Yeah, I think you did. Really? Mm-hmm. Why do you think that? It was raining. You overreacted. No, I did not. Samantha, this is the problem with you. No, right I now. feel like we're going to have a discussion here, and yeah. I feel like I just need to lay it out. Okay. It, I'm always concerned about your well being. It's rain. <laughs> it was raining, and all of a sudden, you became, we walked out of the restaurant, you became white as a ghost, and you're like, careful, careful, don't slip. It was raining really hard. It's, wasn't it wasn't raining and really sidewalk hard. The walk looks slippery. Rain doesn't make things slippery. Yes, it does. It makes it wet. No, it makes it make, slippery. No, no. You're having PTSD. You're having flashbacks from Fat Girl Down, right? <laughs> when you see ice that's oh. shiny, that makes it slippery. And then you don't watch where you're going, and you don't pay attention, and then you fall. That's, yeah. How did that roll back to me? Because you were, like, so concerned about me slipping on rain. I'm like, who slips on rain? So I thought that it was your PTSD. It's I think you have a PTSD. PTSD. I think you need to go talk to somebody about no. it. I think so. Especially now that you're coming, we're we're soon going to be in Fat Girl Down season. No. Right? I feel you. I feel you need. I think you have some pent That's up not issues. That's very nice. Are you hoping I fall? No. As your friend, I'm saying I think you have some pent up issues. I think you need to go and talk to somebody. I don't know if I can help you with it. I've tried, <laughs> and it came back. I thought we worked through it last year. Whatever. Right? Samantha, people are going to fall. It's okay. No. You got up. back up. You weren't hurt. You were none worse for the wear. Nobody yeah. got hurt. No. Little boy hurt. heard some bad language, but yes, he's fine. But he's probably fine. in therapy now, too. Right? It's okay. It's just rain. Rain won't hurt you. Rain's your friend. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Fine. It looks slippery. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm going on the record. All right. Go on the record. Mm-hmm. All right. Fall TV. Not. Oh, It's not started yet. And now, now they push it to like the it's end like of September. It's like mid-September already. I know, right? Every night I'm like, so, because there's nothing on. No. Right? It sucks. I know. All what we're are you watch- watching? We're watching wrestling. Ugh. We're still watching wrestling. Ugh. Uh, but we watched a really, I can't even say this with a straight face. <laughs> so Mike watches Bill Maher, right? Oh, yeah. He's not my favorite guy, uh-huh. but Mike likes him a lot. And I guess there was, uh, there was a documentary Bill Maher was talking about to do with Donald Trump. Okay. So Mike downloaded it and he thought, oh, let's watch that, okay? Okay. So we don't watch anything together like that for that long, right? No, you do not. And we don't watch movies Because you ask too many questions. I ask too many questions. But I knew, right? So I planned not to ask the questions. I got no questions. I was just enthralled. I, I got en- nothing. I was engulfed with it. Okay. So it was about Donald Trump and Russia. Okay. Are you ready for this? Uh-huh. Two hours. Uh-huh. You want to know what it was about? Okay. Russia. Uh-huh. They backed Donald. They've got him in a corner. They got him in a, over a rock. They, they have him over a barrel. He is between a rock and a hard place. Do you know why? Why? Because he peed on girls. <laughs> Or girls peed on him. Somebody peed. They have a videotape. Somebody peed. I, I was like nodding off and on <laughs> through it. And thank God Mike was lying on the couch so he couldn't see that part. So for two hours. That's what I got out of it. <clears throat> All you got is that they have him where they want him because he peed. Because he peed. Somebody peed. Somebody. And you ready for this? Uh-huh. It's called a golden shower. <laughs> Do you know who told me that? Who? The HHG. <laughs> How do you know porn name? How do you know things like that? That sounds like porno stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's like, oh, golden showers. She's here. the one that sent a picture of KY Jelly I'm and like, a bottle of wine. Uh, she's so. the one who's a mama three, right? <laughs> like, huh? The golden shower. The golden showers. I just, I don't know who peed, but there's pee. They have somebody peeing on tape. That's what oh they've done. God. I know. Are you kidding? Like, I'm not even so kidding. Bad. Isn't that so that's horrible? So so bad. Yeah. I don't understand. But on a positive note, mm-hmm. something really exciting that I forgot how much I enjoyed. Hmm. James Corden. Oh, he's good. He's so funny. Right? He's very funny. Yeah. So it's funny because I texted my sister a message about him mm-hmm. because Rob Lowe was going to be on. 
Oh. And we love us a Rob Lowe. He's good looking. My sister Krista, like, like, she, like, salivates. At, like, ring the bell, and that's Krista salivating over Rob Lowe. <laughs> so I sent her a text, and I said, make sure you watch James Corden, PVR, because Rob Lowe's on it. And she sent me back a really, really odd text. Okay. Her question was, out of all the superstars from the 80s, uh -huh. why has John Stamos and Rob Lowe not aged? Why do they still look good? I don't... They do. They look good. They do. Who looks better? I think still Rob Lowe hands No, down. Rob Lowe. Yeah. You got to give it to him. He looks good. so good. He's so good looking so, right now. Wouldn't, mm, mm. He was so cute as a boy. Right. But he's even better now as a man. Bring the picture of wine. Bring the KY jelly <laughs> and the blood pressure monitor. <laughs> Only missing is Rob Lowe. <laughs> We're <laughs> in. We're in. Pencil me in. <laughs> All those three things and him. Bring oh. me in. Well... But so, yeah, so it's not weird, but they, because they have not aged badly. No. No. And John Stamos just became a dad. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think he got, mm, did he get married? I don't know. I, I don't remember. know. And he looks good, too. But he looks really good, too. Yeah. 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 He's got a full head of hair still. And Great. so does Rob Lowe. I know. There's been no. There's been no nothing. Weirdness no. happening no. with their face. Nothing. It's all au natural. It's a good looking face still. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But there's people out there. Don't look good anymore. No, and that, and so then, so then to to that point too, Krista sent Krista Krista sent another text saying, how many people those ones look good, but how many people are there that look horrible? Oh, I'm sure there's lots. Yeah. So I said to you, mm -hmm. I think I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm too. curious. So we did some work on it. We did. So this is Krista's topic because, because she wanted to know then and now <laughs> because they've lived a hard rock life. They have. <laughs> they've earned that look. They've earned that, that look. haggard look. Absolutely. <laughs> They completely have. I came across Adam Ant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the guy that sang Goody Two Shoes. Goody, Goody Two Shoes, Goody, yeah. 1980. Wow. I'm uh, sorry, I went back to my era. Yes, you did. <laughs> you certainly did. So there was a then and now picture. Cute as a button then. Looked a little dangerous. Oh, yeah. Looked a little, he you was know, a little dangerous. I wear eyeshadow and eye makeup because that's what you did in the 80s as a boy. 80s glam. Yeah, 80s glam. He looked cool then. I don't know about now. Don't know about now. He still wears lots of leather, but now there's glasses, and he looks old. Cause he old. Cause he old. Yeah. So I don't. I didn't understand. So then and now, hmm. not so good. Not so good. Not so good. What about you? I found some. Mick Jagger. Oh, he never looked good. I know that. No, like that's not even fair. Okay. That's not even <laughs> fair. The man has never. He's always looked like a sharpe. He does look like a sharpe. <laughs> it's like his skinny man never grew into his face. No. Right. <laughs> yeah. But but He's when I did then and now, good. but when you do then, and you pull up a picture of then, eh, like not good, but eh, like okay, like not no not okay, but not not like oh I'm gonna throw up, not that now, I'm gonna throw up. Really horrible. Well he's old now. I know. Isn't he like sixty or seventy? Yeah. He's old. He's really old. He's gross. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Completely. Um, Axl Rose. Oh. Then and now. Yeah. So then. Not my cup of tea. No. Now? He fat. <laughs> he turned fat? He turned fat. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Ian Asbury from The Cult. Uh-huh. So The Cult, one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was sexy, like love removal machine. He was fine. Now? Not so fine. Not so fine. Not so fine. Not so, fine. <laughs> so it's funny when you when you Google. So friends of the podcast, Google. Google, <laughs> Google then, and then, and then look at it, and then go to now, and then you're kind of like, ooh. <laughs> It's like it's like you're kind of taking it back. So you have to. So basically, what we've decided is that <laughs> some age naturally. Some age naturally. And there are the results out there. Yes. And some, well, not so much. They don't let God do the work. Mm -mm. No. No. Because case in point, Joan Jett. Okay. Like I love rock and roll. I love rock okay. and roll. She looks not as old as she should. Okay. Really? And for some reason, her cheeks look bigger. Because she's got to be old. Like, there's some kind of filler oh, happening. Yeah. It's weird. Why can't people just age? I don't know. Just age, I people. just want to understand. Just age. I don't know. And and then I saw Courtney Love. She's just a hot mess, I think. Yeah, but she looked too mechanically altered. Oh, really, hey? Yeah. Because uh, you can so, Was she looking like a cat? <laughs> sometimes that's the giveaway, right, is when they look like a cat. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> Like they're just a little too tight. You look like a cat. It's like it's like they walked into like like a practical joke where somebody had like a piece of saran wrap just straight across and they walk into it. <laughs> right? That's what I think happens to that. 
That's not a good luck. No, it's not no. a good luck. No. Ozzy Osbourne. Oh. Did he ever really? You know what? Look normal. That man lived a tough life, and he's got the he face lived the hard rock life, and he has the face to prove it. <laughs> Right? And the slur. And the slur. Right? And what do you expect, right? I did cocaine and heroin for 25 years. Of course you're going to have that. Sharon! Right? <laughs> like, of course, right? That's all he can do. I don't even know if he can talk anymore. I think all he can do is, Sharon! Right? I think that's all he can do. Do you know that he's still having affairs at his age? Yeah, I don't get that. Neither do I. No. Yeah. No. And what's the draw to Ozzy Osbourne? I'm not sure. Right? Like, because he's not even relevant now. Not really, no. Right? No. Other than his TV show that he had. He had. Yeah. I don't think they even have that anymore. I don't even know. Probably not. I don't know. Gene Simmons, keep your makeup on. <laughs> keep that tongue in your mouth. Keep that tongue in your mouth. Because that's not even a pretty man. <laughs> right? So that then and now is not good. You that was never I, good. No, but you know what I always really was kind of like, what is up? Uh, his hair. It's like a Brillo pad. It's, it's like so... somebody took an SOS pad and just stuck it there. Yeah, it was so weird. Yeah, like you'd think they could do better. Yeah, you would think. Like Can all you... that money, can't you do better? I know. I know. It's, it's kind of so weird. bizarre. I don't really get that. No, no. I don't get it either. Mm-mm. And then I came across the lead singer of The Cure. Oh, okay, yeah. Robert Smith. Yeah. <laughs> no. The dude had weird hair to begin with and wore red lipstick, which and again, 80s glam. 80s glam. Got so him. acceptable. But... Still doing the same thing. Really? Yeah. So weird hair, freaky, crazy hair, yeah. and and yeah. still the red lipstick. And it would be different if he, too, was relevant. Yeah. He's 54. Huh. You should stop that now. Yeah. You really, really Right? Should. He's probably, like, you know, like, just eating his, like, Wheaties or something every morning. And why are you looking like that? <laughs> Taking his prostate pill right? or Taking whatever. His, yeah, does. right? Going for his colonoscopy and... <laughs> Dude, you didn't need to wear your lipstick today. No. Right? You're just, we're just checking out your colon. Checking out your colon. That's weird. Yeah, I don't it get was that. weird. No. It was very strange. I don't get that at all. I don't get that at all. No. And I also found John Taylor. From Duran Duran? Yeah. Okay. He's looking a little worse for wear. No. Yeah, but like all good rockers from the 80s, yeah. they try to spike their hair up. That's their thing. Like Billy Idol still has his hair spiked. Yeah. 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 I don't get that. So it was like, well... You got a lot of wrinkles, and I'm okay with that, but, you know, I don't know about the hair. No. Yeah. So I think that in now, not so good. No, not so good. Not so good. But you know who still kind of looks okay? Who? Boy George from the Culture Club. What do you mean he looks okay? <laughs> he looks okay. Oh, he never looked okay. No, because you know what? I always appreciated the fact that he could that do his, his makeup so his well. His makeup was great. Yeah. I really appreciated that about him. And still now. And he wears cool hats now, and... He's so he, relevant. Yeah, because he's done his heroin now. <laughs> he's come through the other side of heroin, and so now he's. he's oh, it's come a new. On. Is it a new boy George? No, it's no. not a new boy George. No, no, no that's kind new. of funny. But I think he's kind of cool. I always liked boy George. He was really cool, yeah. and I liked. I still think he does good makeup and stuff. Yeah. But I just think that. Where did he come up with? Like, I wonder where he came up with his name. I don't know. Like, that's kind of weird. Hey? But you know, speaking of nicknames. Uh huh. The music industry has a lot of them. Chock full of them. Chock full. Well, okay. Let's go back to the 90s. Okay. The Spice Girls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sporty. Mm-hmm. Posh. Posh. Scary. Baby. They all had nicknames. They all had nicknames. They were all nicknamed. They were all nicknamed. Yeah, absolutely. And rappers. Hi. Rappers love nicknames. Yeah. Come on now. That's very true. Grandmaster Flash. Yeah. LL Cool J. <laughs> the LL like, st- ladies love ladies love right? he's some that's pretty that, that's cool a James. pretty conceited name hey <laughs> L- like you know I want to be I want to be what would be mine not LL because I don't know ladies love but but I'd like a cool nickname like that I just don't I don't know like people we like nicknames where do they get them from well they just make them up they do yeah I, there's some pop culture nicknames okay there's what do they call George Bush George Dur- Junior W W D U B Y A W. 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 Just like it was spelt. I wonder why they called him that, though. Because his middle his middle initial is W. I know. So W. So why is it W? I think they did that because he was kind of like, <laughs> right? Like, he's kind of like, like, my name is George. <laughs> w. W. Bush. Bush. Yeah, I think he was like that. Okay, but did you know he nicknamed his people? I didn't know that. Yeah, Dick Cheney? Yeah. Big time. Really? That's what he called him. Huh. And then he called Carl Rowe? Yeah. 
Boy genius. Boy genius. Boy genius. Wow. Yeah. But did you know that men give <laughs> nicknames as a way of being affectionate with each other? I gotta without, go back to George Bush. Without compromising masculinity. I gotta go back to George. What? Okay. Did you ever see, so off topic, but I can't do it. I have to do it. Did you ever see the Wanda Sykes special where she talks about George Bush? No. And she talks like, cause he was like, like, like as though he was like, like a little intellectually not quite where he should be <laughs> and she does the stand up bit and she talks and she's like she pulls up a piece of paper and she's pretending she's like look dick i stayed in the lines <laughs> and, it was, and, and that was his big accomplishment of his presidency i stayed in the lines because he was coloring oh my god <laughs> i had to say because i love that yeah yeah okay back to you sorry okay no sorry. that's a good one it's funny i yeah. forgot about right? that. i stayed in the lines <laughs> Okay, but there's also couple names too. Oh, okay. Hi, Brangelina. Brangelina. Right? Yeah. Benefer. Benefer. When it was Ben Affleck and, J- and J Lo. Destined to never work. No, ever. ever. No. And then Kim Ye. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they got married. And they got married. And they got married. And 100 kids later. <laughs> by other people. Three. Not by her. <laughs> you know what? Anything Three. after one becomes 100 to this girl. <laughs> if you got one kid, you got you might as well have 100. You might kids. as well have 100. It makes a difference. Uh, okay, there's also Al Capone. Oh, yeah. He was Scarface. Scarface. Right? Uh, you want to know my favorite was? Mm. The Fonz. Aww. He wasn't born the Fonz. No, he was not. He was born Arthur Fonzarelli. Zarelli. Right? Arthur Fonzarelli. Yeah. Now, is it presumptuous for someone to put the word the in front of their name? No, because we have a the hyper hype girl. <laughs> the original. The original hyper hype girl. Hype girl. <laughs> which is implying there may be others to follow, <laughs> hey? So she just wanted to she wanted to let the world know she's oh the original. Yeah. It's like the original Heinz 57 sauce. <laughs> right? <laughs> One and only. Uh, I don't know. Is it presumptuous with the the? I don't know. Because, like, should anyone put the in front of their name? When you're the Fonz, you should. Yes. The Fonz. The Hasselhoff. The, uh, the Hoff. Yeah, I never understood the, the excitement Hoff. of that. Right? He was a big deal back in the day. He was. He was know? a big deal. I don't know. I don't think they should. But, you know, nicknames, they lighten the mood, hey? They do. They're affectionate. They are. Except when Lisa uses them. Really? <laughs> really? That's where we're going? That's where we're going. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Samantha, I don't use nicknames. I don't. Oh, my God. I don't. Lightning, where are you? It's about to strike, <laughs> I swear. I don't think Yes, I, you do. Not really. Yes, you do. I don't really. I don't do mean to. Do you want to. me to name the names? I don't mean to. You do. I don't. You don't use them affectionately. Well, no, what about Hyper Hype Girl? Yes, I do. <laughs> you didn't name her. She named herself. <laughs> That's she, different. She promoted herself to a nickname. Yes, she did. <laughs> She's a movement. <laughs> She is a movement. She's a movement. Okay, oh, fine. No. Be like that. Go ahead. Spill the beans. Spill the beans. Tell the world Sometimes what you think you know. No, uh, Tell them. What I think I know? What you think you know. Okay, Lisa, this is what I know. Ooh, that sounds serious. <laughs> there are times when you don't particularly enjoy someone's company <laughs> or you find something about them to... Maybe enhance. Enhance. You use it as a nickname. I use it as a nickname. Hence, socks. Okay, that's different. You sent me a picture, and then all of a sudden, socks. Samantha. And forever, that person was named Socks. (laughs) Because, (laughs) now I feel like I have to defend it. Because she came to work with black shoes on and white sweat socks. Right? Yes. To an elegant British brand clothing store. Yes, I I know. And what did I do? I looked at her feet and I thought, what's with the socks? And then I was like, ding, 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 ding. New nickname. Socks. Socks. Yes. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Fine, mm-hmm. I did socks. And what about the mole? Oh, yeah, the that, mole. You got yourself I got into myself some into trouble. trouble. The mole. Okay, I'll fess <laughs> up. I I am a nickname giver. You are. Right? Some of my favorite nicknames that I've done in the past is her and her best friend, Mom. Best one yet. Best one. Because they used to come shopping in the store. and Not the were... store you work in now. No. Or, yes. No. Right? Previous. Previous. And who were they? Oh, it's her and, and her, her best, best friend, friend Mom. Mom. Right? Because they were inseparable. So that's what they became. Right? And then there was the garden gnomes. Oh, my God. Right? You couldn't remember which one was which. Because I couldn't remember which one was the pretty one. <laughs> But they were the garden gnomes. And then remember, I, I just remember thinking, I'm not, I can't be the first person who's decided that they look like garden gnomes. They just look 
there so has weird. to be people. There has to be people in their lives yes. that they've encountered that have thought when they've walked. So they so they've met the gnomes mm-hmm. and they've come home and they've walked towards you know to their backyard and they thought, hey, looking at a lo- at a yard at a, like a lawn ornament, you look familiar. <laughs> Oh shit! I think I just met you at, at the Safeway, right? Oh my god! Yeah. Yes. The garden gnome. Yes. Okay. What else you got though? Um, I got Big Bird. I can't get into it. I gotta just leave it at that. <laughs> that is a good one. That's a good one though, hey? And it fits. I forgot about that one. And it fits. And I got nasty. Yes. I can't get into can't it. Can't get into that one either. But it fits on so, so many, many levels. So many levels. Yeah, so many levels. Yeah. Those are mine. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. But I'm I'm bad too. I'm gonna admit. You nickname. Yeah, I do. I think everybody does. I nickname in a nice way, though. Ish. So, <laughs> you shorten names. Yes, I do. Yeah. I'm horrible yeah, that way. You're really bad but that way. But at, at my current job, yep. I do to, dir- dir- <laughs> to, to in a conversation yep. of two individuals that work, not in my building, but outside of my building, uh-huh. one is little, one is big. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and then, and now we have two people, yep. two women in our building with the same name. Yep. One is senior, one is junior. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a better person than I am. Well, because they have to, because how, yeah. like, because then you're always gonna have to explain. I know. This is what I do. Yeah. Because I don't want to keep explaining who no. I'm talking about. No. no. In the conversation. Yeah. You know right? my other quirky thing, hmm. and I'm sure you know this, is if I don't love the name. Yeah. <laughs> You don't get a nickname from me. No. You get, you get no name. No. You, you, I'll never use your name. No. Right? You won't. Because if I can't hear myself saying it, it just, I'll still be nice to you, but yeah. I'm never saying your name. But you're always going to have a conversation that works around the name. The name. Yeah, that absolutely. you will never have to say never. the name. No. Nope. You could have just, you could just give that person a nickname right off the bat mm-hmm. because you can't pronounce it. No. No. It's not even if I can pronounce it. Sometimes I just think it's an odd name and I'm just like, I'm like, morning. How you doing? <laughs> How was your night? And I, like, there's people I've worked with for years and never probably called them by name. Hey, that's horrible. I know I'm weird that way. Well, and then you know, nicknames sometimes among friends have like history and backstory. Right. Right. So I need to I need you to remember one. Okay. Back in the day, yeah. when you and I worked together, yeah, there was a lovely, a lovely, lovely associate by the name of Rochelle. Yes. Also known as Jingle. <laughs> we named her. The day that we named her Jingle yeah. was the best day. It was the best. Because forever going forward, I never used her real name. I know. It's just Jingle. <laughs> if, when, if I see her, like like every now and then I'll see her in the, in the bay. Mm-hmm. And I'll, she'll be like, hey, I'll be like, hey, Jingle. Like it's never leaving her <laughs> no. ever. Ever. Because, okay. So in my heart. The backstory to this is. So funny. We always did like a. Sparkle Saturday. A Sparkle Saturday shirt kind of type thing. Well, she didn't want to buy one. She didn't want anything to do with it. She's like, I'm never going to wear it. Okay. So we forced her to wear a pin, a Christmas pin. <laughs> right? You're going to, you're wearing, you're doing something festive, my friends. Right? I pull out my big boss panties and said, but you're doing something. Right? So we got her a pin. And it jingled. And when she walked, it jingled. It jingled. And that's, she just became jingle. <laughs> and forever she became jingle. Forever will be jingle. And I had to ask you today yeah. when I was talking yeah, about it. What was her it, name again? What the hell was her name again? Yeah. Because I never remember yeah. her real so it's name. It's not that you forgot the person. No. You just only remembered her as jingle. Jingle. Yeah. Because you remember the nickname more so than yeah. the actual real name. Because it's endearing. Because if you use someone's... If you're really good friends with someone and you've given them a nickname and that's how you refer to them. And sometimes it can just be the person's last name. Yeah. You know, like Gibson, Sperling, whatever. Yeah. Because there's actually a guy at work. We call him, we either call him Mr. Coben or Coben. Okay. Right. So if you were to talk to him and say, Matthew, yeah. sometimes people think, oh, oh, I'm oh, in trouble. I'm in trouble. Because you've used their actual real right. name. Yeah, definitely. So. When you're with your good friends and you yeah. have nicknames for everybody and everybody has different nicknames yeah. and you use their real name, that indicates, oh, we're getting serious. Yeah, definitely. It right? does. Yeah. But yeah. it's so interesting to hear the nicknames of other people. I think it's interesting. You know what? It's funny that you talk about that because I went to a website and I went to a nickname generator. I got a nickname for you. You generated one for me. Yeah. That's so So, so I had to use your, your first name, your middle name, your last name, and then three adjectives. I don't know what the hell an adjective is, so I just put in 
I didn't know if that's a people place or thing. I didn't know any of that, right? I've been out of school way too long to know, right? A so, people place so, or a thing. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm just putting in. Oh my god. Right? I didn't know if that's a homonym or a synonym. I didn't know. A homonym? Oh, yeah. That's okay. a something. All right. That's something. All right. Okay. So I just put in three words. So I did Got your it. name, your full name. Then I did pretty, forceful. And what was the other one that I put? Pretty, forceful. I don't remember the other. Funny. Might have been funny. Because sometimes I think you're funny. <laughs> And you know what it came? You know what came up? What? It came up. These are two of my. Okay, there's four. So one came up saying coercive Sam. I'm like, yeah, I could see that, right? Coercive Samantha, because you coerce people to do what you need them to do. Yes, you, you do. Say that like that's a bad thing. I'm, just, I'm not. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. This one I thought was perfect because it kind of. It's like you're like like a tropical storm. Categorical Sam. <laughs> right? Like a tsunami. I just come on in, and whip it up. <laughs> And I just leave destruction in my path. Well, that's not far off from the truth. <laughs> bad Samantha. <laughs> I'm like, that, that tick. And then one Is from, that like bad Santa? Kind of like that, right? <laughs> and then one, and then this is my favorite one. So if it was like in like, like the, 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 the beginning of time, like uh-huh. with like Cro-Magnum Man and stuff, mm-hmm. Samantha the Severe. <laughs> right? And I'm like, that's kind of true too. I can see myself. Helmet. Helmet. Sword. With like dragon meat. Chain mail. Dragons of meat. <laughs> Right, right, with your pointer finger out, right. Still giving you shit wherever. Right? Still, Samantha the Samantha the severe still giving you shit wherever I can. Right, I can see you doing that. Oh, that's yeah. good. Well, I did the same to you because you did it to me, so I had to play the okay. game too. And I'm like, of course you found a nickname generator. Yes. <laughs> so, I can't remember what I put in, but this is what popped out. Okay. Lisa the brains. Yeah, absolutely. Not helpful. Yeah, it's accurate. Laughing Lisa. Accurate. But this is my favorite. Oh, Lisa the bum. Oh, I don't. I must have put lazy. <laughs> you must have put lazy. You must have put lazy in there somewhere, Samantha. You had to sneak in that, didn't you? Yeah, but no categorical or coercive. Mine are nice. Well, I don't know. I just thought forceful because sometimes you're forceful, right? <laughs> I just think sometimes you have a forceful personality. Uh, but you know what we do do? But you just said do 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 do. You know what we do do? There. What do we do do, Samantha? What do we do do? Shut up. Do it in your sweaty balls. What? <laughs> Samantha, Lisa, what do we do-do? I'm not sure. I do-do. <laughs> a couple times a day, I do-do. Do you do-do? <laughs> and then we wipe. And then we wipe. Every single time. <laughs> oh, and then we wipe. Up. Shut up. <laughs> okay. This is what I th- people don't know. Okay. It's sometimes when we're, when we're texting back and forth, yeah. all of a sudden, dear Samantha, oh... What are we talking? Right, we're talking <laughs> serious talk when I bring out the dear Samantha. Dear Samantha. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> and I'm like, dear Lisa, shut up. Yep, exactly. <laughs> right? Sometimes you got to do it like that. So we don't necessarily have nicknames no. for each other. Because I don't call you Gibson and nope. you don't call me Sperling. Nope. Nope. Never. And I you call you Samantha sometimes. <laughs> yes, you but do. But I only call you Samantha. <laughs> and I, maybe everybody doesn't know this. It only came up. I only ever called you Sam, and then and then it became Samantha through texting over the years because you would text me and you'd be like you'd be like Lisa, Lisa. and I'm like hi <laughs> it's me right and I'd be like Samantha <laughs> then it kind of stopped because right? you would always send a text with my name and I'm like you, dude it's my phone number I know who it is and you'd be like Lisa That's what time I... do you want to meet for lunch tomorrow <laughs> Samantha That's what I do though. How about twelve right? <laughs> So then it became Dear Samantha. Dear Samantha. Dear Lisa. Exactly. That's so funny. <laughs> so we have our own affectionate way of like addressing each other in kind of like a haha kind of way. Yes, we do. We do. Yes. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> and I quite enjoy those exchanges because <laughs> you're always like being serious. Trying when to like just gotta, prove a point. Trying to prove a point when, I, when it's dear Samantha, right? There's points to be proven, right? <laughs> and I can see the physical finger yeah, right. pointing happening it's getting real when the dear samantha starts the text message <laughs> okay but nicknames are great for people yes but you know body parts are part of it people names come body on parts. now yeah there i'm pretty sure there's a fairly decent percentage of men yeah. who name their penis oh okay. they're naming their parts wow yeah <sighs> Right? And even yeah. maybe some women, because in the Pitch Perfect movie, the first one, yeah. the one girl who was a bit of a I like to sleep around girl, yeah. called it the lady killer. The lady killer. <laughs> there you go, right? 
the lady killer. <laughs> it's hungry like a lion or something like that. I'm just like, what That's, the fuck? Wow. So, okay. Body parts. Yeah. I'm going to go on the record. I don't name one part of my husband. There's not a nickname <laughs> to it. He's just Mike. Yes. With all the parts, all the working parts that the next man has. There's nothing else in it. I don't think you need to name stuff. I don't think but so. But people do. Sometimes right? do. But okay. a penis can have like a million different slang words. But it should have a better name than penis because that's just a bad name. Do you think so? I don't. Okay. What about Willie? No, I don't like that. What about your pee-pee? When you're four. <laughs> when you're four. Right? What about your Johnson? I don't understand the Johnson. Right? <laughs> Right, right, you're Johnson. When you say that, it just I feel like you should be like grabbing your balls. <laughs> right, my Johnson. You want my Johnson? I want my Johnson. Right. Okay, but your mouth? I Pot- I hate this phrase. So pie much. hole. I think that phrase. Shut your pie hole. I think that phrase is disgusting, <laughs> and I don't know why. I just hate why? it. I just think it sounds bad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. Belly button? I don't like that word on a good day. That's your navel. Not. It's your I belly just, button. I think it's weird. Vagina. Okay, so it's your snatch. <laughs> it's your snatch. <laughs> it's your no-no zone. Okay? It's your no-no See, zone. See, that's a nickname. Yes, it's it is. It's a no-no. It's a no-no why zone. Why are you calling it your no-no yeah. zone? Why, why am I calling it my no-no well, zone? Well, why would anybody call it your no-no Stay zone? Stay away. <laughs> Stay away from it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why married women call it their no-no zone. Keep away. Keep away. Right? Close okay. for business. And then your bum. Okay. Could be your tookus. That sounds like your mother. I know. But that sounds like a word your mother would use. <laughs> Samantha, just sit on your tuchus. I could hear her saying that. Oh, speaking of speaking of nicknames, uh-huh. my mother, in my family, I'm either Sam, Sammy. If you're using my full name, I'm in trouble. You're in trouble. That much I know. Yeah. But my mother had this really strange name, which she doesn't even know how she came up with. Okay. When she was mad and needed to get my attention, she'd be like, Stellamansa. And what is that? I have no idea. It's like German for like really bad kid. <laughs> yep. Or something. <laughs> Probably. But she didn't or even what have know. what about that? She doesn't even know. And she speaks German. Yeah. But if she needed my, if she needed me to pay attention yeah. and knew that I was in trouble, that's Stellamansa came out of her mouth. Out. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. It's a weird thing. Okay, well, now that you've revealed that, then I'm going to reveal our fa- mine and my sister Krista's nicknames. I mean, they're not good nicknames at all. She's going to hate me. She's going to kill me. I'm going to get a nasty text. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> so mine, we had an uncle. My <sighs> uncle Ron he used to always call me, my name's Lisa. He used to always call me Ita. Ita? No idea why. Why Ita? I-T-A. I don't know. Ita. Always Ita. was. But you best, you know what he called Krista? Hmm. Burrhead. Because she had really curly hair. <laughs> Burhead. Burhead. Isn't that funny? That's good. Yeah. I like that yeah. one. Sorry, Krista. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. So that's her nickname for me is Bill. It's Bill. Right? Not spelt the normal way. The uh, UW. <laughs> Bill. It's weird. That is weird. <laughs> it is weird. Okay, but I have some body parts too. Okay. Okay. I don't take this the wrong way. Okay. But remember years ago, we had a funny day where we decided as fat girls, we were going to name the fat girl body parts. Yes. Right? And that was fun. Yeah. So this is all in good humor. And I feel as plus size women, we get to own this. We own this. Okay. So do you remember Schneck? <laughs> yeah. And that is when your neck blends into your shoulders. So it's a schneck. You just got a schneck. <laughs> <laughs> and relbows. Relbows. That's wrists and your elbows. elbows all collide. All together. It's all just one big mass. And it's a relbow. <laughs> right? Cankles. Everybody knows cankles. Everybody knows a cankle. Right? That's calves into your ankles. Yes. Okay. Gunt. Oh. Are you going to tell them? So here's the thing. It's sliding down. Sliding down towards your no no zone. No no zone and the dirty word for it, rhyming <laughs> rhyming rhyming with gunt. It's your gut into and your, your eh. <laughs> There's that. We can't even say the we word. We can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Right? Camel toe. Ca- oh, camel toe. Right? That's yes. everything just hiked up a little too yes, high. Yes. And bad. um and I said cankles. Yeah. 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 Ass crack. Apron. Oh, apron. But apron, I think, needs a better wrap. Because as we age and gravity starts taking over, yeah. I don't want to think of it as my apron anymore. <laughs> it's just part of my tummy. <laughs> my lower tummy. My, my tummy is sliding. It's just my down. lower tummy. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not becoming a gunt. No. That's different. <laughs> right? That's different. Oh, my God. Right? It's just, it's just a tummy. Uh, yes. Yeah. This is true. Yeah. So, yeah, so we do. You're right. Absolutely. Okay. We, name, we name things. Okay. Yeah. 100%. That was fun. It was a lot I of fun. I forgot how many nicknames we'd given people. I have some name facts, though. 
Oh, just just to be real quick. Random. Random it's name random facts. Random name facts. Do you know that in America, in America, in America, America, there are six people with the name Donald Duck. Why? Six people. Would you do that? I don't know. 69 people named Homer Simpson. Okay, that's really weird, right? too. Do you know that there's 4,746 people that have the identical first and last name? Most popular? Thomas Thomas. That seems wrong. 45,379 people who have the first, who have a last name that starts with their first name, and that would be John Johnson. <laughs> right? And 62,935 people that have rhyming names like Mary Perry, Paul Hall, Florence Lawrence. <laughs> what parents do that? What I'm just parents, thinking, your parents hated they you. They hated you. Or they were just really not creative, and no. they were already tired because they just pushed they got, it out of their hoo-ha. Right? They got nothing. What do you want to name a Mary Perry? Mary Perry sounds good, right? Right? What's he look like? Paul Hall. Right? Who does that? What do you want to name Donald Duck. Right? My favorite Disney character. And name me after He has no that. hair. Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson, right? Looks like a dog, Marmaduke. Like, I don't know, right? Like, what the hell? Marmaduke. Who does that stuff? That seems really wrong. Seems really wrong. Oh, my God. Yeah, seems really, really wrong. <laughs> exactly. All right. Crazy. Do you have an I shake my head, Lisa? I do, and I'm going to keep it short. Okay. Because I don't understand it. Uh-oh. Okay. So, as you know, I'm a lover of sports. <laughs> right? So, I was watching the U.S. Open. Of which course you were. Samantha, in case you don't know, that's tennis. Yeah. Thank you. Okay? I know. Okay. And it was the female tennis, right? So, it was the women's final. Yes. Things got a little hot. Uh oh. Things got a little crazy. Okay. So Serena Williams uh-huh. went a little off, off, off her rocker. Well, I saw some clips. Did you see some clips? Yeah. Okay. She broke a racket. She broke a racket. Started yelling at the ref. The referee got mad. The umpire got mad because mm-hmm. said that he was she was getting coaching from the stands. From, her, from the stands, which really, I mean, like you're like that ball's come at you a hundred miles an hour. Like it's hard to be like looking up, going, oh yeah, okay, gotcha. Right? Like, you don't, I don't know how you have time yeah. for that. But I saw the coach, he did do some hand movements. Oh, did he? Yeah, he did. He did. Um, she had an epic meltdown. Really? Yeah. And I don't know enough about, <clears throat> about her background other than the fact I know that she gets called on the carpet a lot. Mm-hmm. Right? So she, they don't like what she wears. You yeah. can't wear your panther suit. Can I wear my tutu? Apparently you can wear your tutu. <laughs> she was in the tutu <laughs> when in, I saw her. She was in the tutu. <laughs> right? She gets, she gets, she's very vocal. Okay. So her whole thing is that she's trying she her issue is that she feels that she was treated unfairly because they don't treat men who misbehave on the tennis court that way. Huh? Yeah. Huh. That's kind of my I shake my head because it's like, is that what it's about? Because to me, you do look like you kind of displayed some poor sportsmanship. Well, when what one, I saw wasn't great. Thou shalt not smash your, your racket. racket. Like that's like that's kind of a little mm, yeah, yeah a little bit. Hey. So I don't know. So that was kind of my I shake my head. Is I was just like because it was so divided. People are like, no, she's doing a good thing. No, she's doing a bad thing. Mm-hmm. No, she's standing up for women. And I'm like, okay. well, and then I heard too that the ref, they felt the ref participated in the game, and he's not supposed to be that kind of person. Oh. He's supposed to be outside of the game, simply refereeing. But he, they felt that the, he had inserted himself into the into game. Into the game. Okay. So. And he took points away from her, and he yeah. did this, and then he fined her. Yeah. 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 So, so I, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. I don't yeah. know enough no, me neither. to know if this was the right call, the wrong no. call. It just seemed really odd yeah. all the way around. Yeah. But but in fairness, I have seen, like, back in the day, like, John McEnroe and different men who, who are way more belligerent mm-hmm. and ignorant and probably didn't get that same treatment. So is that – that's not right. It's not right, but then maybe the lesson should be maybe in, in, in the sport of tennis, which is so proper, maybe we don't act like that. Maybe we bring yeah. out our maybe we bring out our best behavior. Well, and who won? Not her. I know, yeah. but who did? Yeah, exactly. Are we talking about her? No, I know her name is Naomi, but I don't know her last name. See, exactly. we're not even talking about the winner. No, and yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, that is wrong. That's so that was really kind of my wrong. I shake my head. Huh? Yeah. What that's about good, you? That's a good one. Yeah. What about you? Well, <sighs> Trump. Oh. Uh, well, you know, this is what happens when Sam pays attention to stuff. Yeah. Because. It's not my normal news. No, it's not your normal <laughs> news, right? It's not your normal go-to. But I just felt that he was he was a little bit disrespectful. Uh, just a little. And I was just like, okay, it's in it was in poor taste that he refuted the number of people that died in the Puerto Rico I read um, that. hurricane. Yeah. Mar- the Hurricane Maria. Yeah, I read and that. 
it was a series of tweets where he's blaming, of course, the Democrats for false information, blah, blah. Everything's false, right? right of course. But the, the problem is, is that whether he thought there was 18 people or 3,000 people, it's he's basically saying they don't count. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Some people die. You're, you're, he, he only cares about his reputation. Yeah. He doesn't care about the fact that people died. Period. No, he's so ignorant. Right? Yeah. And I'm sorry, but I choose to believe that more than 18 people died in Puerto Rico. Well, you know what? I've heard that there was a lot, a lot of, a lot of lives were lost. Yeah. And he didn't, he didn't react great. No. When it happened. No. When they needed, the, the, they needed help from no, the US. No, I think he was delayed. He was. Yeah. So I believe Canada got, I think Canada got there first. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know why he feels the need to belittle a tragedy for so many people. Because he's a douchebag. And I President think douche. that's my I shake my head is, dude, it's not about you. It's not about you. It's not about you. Mm-hmm. It's not about your reputation. It's not about you slamming the Democrats mm-hmm. and trying to accuse them of false information nope. again for like the millionth time. No. Nope. It's like you have basically re-hurt and brought back the tragedy of those people losing their yeah. loved ones yeah. again. Exactly. And now you're saying it didn't even happen. Yeah. Or it didn't happen the way that we're being told. That's right. Sorry. Yeah, it's not cool. I don't buy it. Not cool. I don't buy it. He's a jerk. And I just, I needed to say that because I thought... Um, it was such a bad, it's, horrific occurrence. It was a, a really bad... It was a bad disaster a, a for... A tragedy. Some, yeah. It was, it was horrible. Yeah. And um, it was uh, sunny on The View... Who who got very um, passionate about it, mm-hmm. and I agreed with her, and I was just like, you know what, you're right. He shouldn't have spoken out. No, no. Sometimes so, he, less is more. How about don't shut up? I would just shut up how and about take your shut Twitter up? account away from you. Good, Enough. I shake my head. Good, okay. I shake my head. So next week. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. We don't even have a topic. Don't even. There, it's this, just a person. Just a person. The HHG makes an appearance. Hyper hype girls. <laughs> She's coming to the car, Samantha. It's coming to the car. I don't know what that looks like. She may talk. She may talk. She may not. Well, she's bringing the topic, so she better talk. Oh, she's giving me a list of things. She's like, I, it's, like it's like a waiver, hey? Oh, my God. It's like, so I'll talk about this. Okay. I'll talk about this. I'll talk about this. I'm like, okay. Oh, my God. So I don't know what, who knows, but tune in, because, right, we talk about her. She gives us a lot of food for thought. Yes. So it's going to be interesting. Okay. She's going to be part of all of it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Guys, you know you want to wear us. You know. You know you want to drink from us. Yes. Go to wehavemerch.com. <laughs> <laughs> and you know you want to drag us around in a bag. In a bag. Yeah. So we've got hats and T-shirts and mugs and... Beer cozies. <laughs> we've just got everything. Yeah. So check us out on wehavemerch.com. Yeah. Uh, Podbean Patreon. Lisa? Samantha, go to the Podbean. Listen to an episode. Yes. See the little red bag over Sam's face. Punch it. Give it a punch. <laughs> right? Support support your favorite podcast. Support. And that's us. That's us. Right? Yes. Um, we'd like to thank Audio Editing Solutions for making us sound so good. And he does. Good job. Yep. You can listen to us on Podbean, iTunes, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Mm-hmm. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Yes, we're everywhere. We are everywhere. Just having fun. And remember, just like we started this show, let's end the show with, you know what? Share us. Share us. Let your friends, if you love what we do, tell your friends about it. Tell your coworkers and yeah. have some good times. Okay. All right, Samantha? Perfect. Anything else? Nope. Always a pleasure. It should be. 